a photo finishing store charges customers a rate of 29 cents per photo to print pictures. For new customers, the store offers a one-time discount of $3. Write a function representing the amount that a new customer would have to pay to have x number of photos printed. So x is the number of photos printed. So just a regular customer would have to pay the number of photos times 29 cents a photo. So if we just said, let y be the amount that a customer would have to pay, a regular customer would have to pay x times 29 cents per photo. So we'd, say, we'd write 0 0.29. We could put the dollar sign there if you want. Or 0 0.29, we're assuming everything is dollars, x. That's how much a regular customer would have to pay. But they're asking us a first time, a new customer. And they say that the new customer gets a one-time discount of $3. So a new customer will pay this minus, minus $3. So this there, this right here is a pretty much a simplified version of a function that would describe what a new customer would pay. If you wanted to get fancy, this is a little bit inaccurate when the customer ordered less than 10 photos. Because of the, like, let's say the customer orders 10 photos. Then x is going to be 10 times 29 cents is $2.90. Minus three is negative ten cents, and the customer is not gonna not going to pay negative ten cents, which would be like the store paying them ten cents for them to print ten photos. The customer is not going to pay anything. So what we want to do, what we could do, if we wanted to make this a little bit fancier, we could say that we could say that a new customer would pay new customer would pay. And we could say that's y. So y is equal to y is equal to 0.29x minus 3 if x is greater than 10. If the guy or the gal orders more than 10 photos, it's 0 otherwise. It's 0 otherwise then they don't pay anything. If it's less than 10 photos, they pay nothing. It's not like the store is going to pay them. Because if you're less than 10, or 10 or less, actually, then this is going to become negative. And we don't want a situation where it's negative. So they're either going to pay nothing, but if they get more than 10 photos, then they're going to pay based on this function right there.